This has done two movies with Blake Edwards. He'd done a movie called Blind Date and he did a movie called Sunset. Blind Date was a moderate hit and Sunset was not. And um, I think the conventional thinking at the moment was Bruce probably didn't have a movie career. At the same time, Fox was trying to put together this movie Die Hard and they had gone to Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger and Richard Gere and, and those sorts of people and been turned down by all of them. And I guess eventually somebody said, what about that Bruce Willis fellow? And they offered him, he had a, a very, very, very uh, smart, shrewd agent who got him an enormous amount of money. And Bruce called me, told me, he said, hey, I got another movie. I said, what are you doing? He says, die hard. And I said, oh, oh, don't do that. Oh, man, don't do that. I said, that's like a Schwarzenegger movie. I said, they're going to laugh you off the screen. You can't do that stuff. And he said, who cares? They're paying me so much money. If I never do another movie again, I'll be okay. So having said that, I went off and I did Clean and Sober, and, and he went off and did Die Hard. And I guess eight, nine months later, I get a call. He says, he says you want to see the movie? And I said, sure. You know, it was like months away from coming out. He says, Joel, Joel Silver produced the movie. Showing it tonight. Go, blah, blah, blah. So I go to this theater on the Fox lot, and I watch this movie. It's the most amazing movie I've ever seen. It's a fantastic movie. <laughs> I mean, just, I was just completely blown away. And I called him from the car. I, I just left him. I said, Bruce, oh my God, I just saw your movie. What a movie. It's a great movie. I felt like such a fool. And he said, I said, you, you did it. You made like a great movie. He said, he said, well, you made a movie. I said, no, I made like a, like a film. It's like a film. I said, that's a movie, you know? It was so great. And he was so great in it. And, and he'll freely admit that they sort of made the movie around him because he was doing Moonlighting at the same time. He would like go back and forth between the stages. Um, so he wasn't always completely, you don't always see the whole, you know, you sort of see your piece and your part, you don't quite know how things are going to go together. Um, but I was just electrified and I thought, this is a great, great movie. And it's funny because I just saw probably half of it about three weeks ago, you know, you're flipping around, boom, there it is on cable. And it's still just entertaining as hell. You know, it's the hair that kills you, you know, everybody's hair is different, but um, what a good movie.